Soledad O'Brien. Hey, good old morning. friend. Good morning. Hey. How you, you doing? I am so good and so busy and crazed, but good. Yeah. You're, yeah. All, you're always busy. This says that this is the first documentary as a producer. Hungry to learn. First documentary as a producer. <clears throat> you didn't produce really. all those? All the, yeah. You I think produ- what they mean is the first doc that I'm not in. Gotcha. Oh, so I'm I'm only I only work as a producer. Most we've done fifty. This is our fifty second doc, which means I am officially old and uh, <laughs> fifty two. And you know, you always obviously produce them, but they don't have. This is the first time we just camped out with students. Uh, we have a wonderful director who's won a slew of Emmys. Her name is uh, Gita Gunbir, and uh, mm. and she directed it. And I was the uh, a producer and the executive producer. It's called so Hungry to that. Learn, and what does yeah. that mean? You know, we take a deep dive into students who are on campuses and are hungry. Mm. And and I think there was a, a mythology around, yeah, there's always a couple of students, you know, where finances are tough and they're going through some tough times. But when they started polling students, a woman named Sarah Goldrick Robb has been running this project um, called Real College, what college is really like. And they found that nearly half of the students in CUNY's had experienced some kind of food insecurity. That 50% of the mm. students were hungry and, and hungry, not just, oh, I skipped a meal, but hungry on campus. And so we really camped out for a couple of years with uh, four students. One ended up leaving the project in the middle when her parents' house was foreclosed upon. Uh, and so she just emotionally couldn't take it anymore. But we camped out with them to see what their lives were like and, and literally how they sort of try to figure out where food can be available because – you know, tuition is so expensive. Uh, fees are so expensive. Often they're paying for their own housing and trying to, you know, have jobs that can also pay for their classes. It's really, really hard for them. Were well, any of these schools HBCUs? None of the schools were HBCUs. You said this was the, C, uh, the CUNY City CUNY. University? Yeah, the CUNY. It was a CUNY and Montclair. Uh, so we didn't do any HBCUs, but we know that the problem is a national problem. It really is. And, and one of the, the uh, issues, as you talk about, being uh, hunger and, and, and homelessness is another thing. But mm. this uh, and, and talking about kids on, on college campuses. But this is just like it's not. And as you say, it's not just, oh, the calf is closed and I yeah. can't get anything to eat. These kids are like day to day. Yeah, and you know what's interesting? They use technology to all share the information about where they know food's going to be served. So Mm -hmm. if you know the physics department is going to have a lecture with sandwiches afterwards, someone will send a note out. One of our, um, our subjects, Joey said that he and his friends are all on this chain and he's, he's ROTC. He's, he's, uh, hoping in the dock to get into the air force. Um, but they send a chain out, like, here's where food is. We've discovered where food is. Really? And what's really interesting is you see how their college experience is very different than how I think we sell, if you will, the college experience. You know, the, uh, college is often football games and fun and drinking and keg parties. And actually for them, it's a grind. It's really? hard. One of the people in the doc, Eve, says, you know, I feel like it, 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 college is for people who have money. And if you don't have money, you can go, but you're going to be tortured every day to try to make it through. And she's not wrong. What about what about athletes? You, you hear all the time that because of the NCAA rules that uh, athletes go hungry. Um, you know what's so interesting about that? And I uh, just joined the board of the Historic um, Basketball League because one of the things that they had said to me was, you know, right, if you miss the dining hall, no one can give you food, right? Or you're in violation of rules is the way it used to be. And so it's really, really hard for athletes. So even though it feels and sounds like, well, they're covered, they get everything. They don't really. And one of the athletes was telling me that his coach used to let people out with just five minutes to get to the dining hall, Mm -hmm. kind of in a hunger game style, like, can you make it? Can you imagine? Because they, they knew, and it was a sense of, and all of these students that we interviewed, one, they're exhausted. They're, they're 19 years and 20 years old, and they're exhausted. And they're also, they have this sense of, like, I just, you know, scrounging for food and scrounging for thinking about your job and how much money you're going to make and can you pay for your housing and can you pay for your tuition and can you pay to register for your class? And how do you pay for a $12 sandwich if you're making $10 an hour? You know, it's just exhausting for them. They well, just back in, back in the day, Back in the day, parents sent care packages. 
They don't do yeah, that anymore? You know what? I think the population now is 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 um, sometimes the parents are struggling. You know, we meet Joey's parents, and they're like, we don't have money to send him to college. Huh. They give him a lot of love and a ton of support, but they don't have money. And he's like, if they take loans or I take loans, yeah. they're never going to pay them off, and I have a chance of paying them off. Yeah. Is is there uh, information in there about how we can help or, or food yeah, banks? Yeah, you know, there there is, and uh, most colleges actually, many are starting food banks on their campus. But I would say go to real college. Just check it out. Uh, Sarah Goldrick Rab is uh, kind of runs it, and they're coming up with solutions. Because while I love I love the idea of food pantries, it's a band aid, right? It doesn't really get to the systemic problem underneath someone not being able to eat. And I think Sarah's got some great ideas. She's in the dock as well and has great ideas about how to support students. For folks who are in the New York City area this weekend, Hungry to Learn premieres at the Dock NYC. And this is the largest documentary festival. It's at the SVA Theater tomorrow. Yes, mm-hmm. All right. And the IFC Theater on Monday. Interesting. Yeah, we'll be there for both. Oh, All wonderful. Right. It's always great to hear from you, Likewise. Soledad. Thanks, guys.